Hi viewers welcome to beginners tech road In this video I am going to explain about static classes and static class members and also non static classes and static members okay so static classes so we discussed about the classes and uh, creating the objects for classes so like that we discussed so now what is static class okay the basically if you see a static class is same like a non static class but there is one difference a static class cannot be instantiated okay so then where we can use this static classes if you see so static class can be used as a convenient container for sets of methods that just operate on input parameters and do not have to get or set any internal instance fields so nothing but you are not you are not going to store anything into the any of the fields just you are operating whatever the parameters you are going to take okay with the using just you are going to use that parameters in any of the methods and you are going to calculate something and you can just return the values but you are not going to store any values okay so in such cases we can use the static classes so the main features of static class if you see contains only static members so when you have a static class and you define then in the class if you define as a static class then all its members also should be static so like that static classes can have only static members and we cannot create objects is nothing but cannot be instantiated static classes cannot be instantiated okay and it is a sealed the static classes is a sealed so and therefore we cannot inherit it okay so the sealed it means it doesn't allow to use the static class as a base class to inherit okay and cannot contain instance constructors however can contain a static constructor because the static classes we cannot create objects so even we cannot have a instance constructors why because if it is a object if we can create then we need a instance constructors static classes cannot be created objects so that it doesn't allow instance constructors however we can use static constructors okay so this is about the main features of a static class okay fine so the static classes okay uh, how then how we can access the members of the static class so we cannot create the objects for static classes so far we learnt like a classes and whatever the members classes has whatever the members first we are going to create a object then the object variable we are going to use to access the members of the class based on the whatever the access modifier specified in that respective fields in that respective class but when it comes to a static classes okay we cannot create object then how we can access the members of that static class okay so if you look at we can access the members of a static class by using the class name itself okay so if it is a non static class we can create the object and but with the object variable we can use the whatever the members but in this case static classes case we cannot create object we can use the members just by using the class name itself okay so example if you take example how we can define a static class so we know defining a non static class so similar way to define a static class 
the only one difference is you need to use a static keyword in front of the class okay keyword so this is the only the difference normally the class we will be using a access modifier and then class uh, keyword and then class name okay whereas here okay we need to use a just static class and then here also same class name okay so this is the example for creating a static class and then the body of the class the way how we have a body of the non static class here also same way the body of the class we can define but as the class we defined as a static as we know any static class all members also should be static so that way here example the calculate sum is a method okay it returns integer type okay so the just in front of the return type we are going to use a keyword static so here in the class keyword we are going to use static in front of the class keyword similar way for the method or any fields if you use in front of the data type we are going to use the keyword static keyword so here in this example the calculate sum is a method it returns a integer type so here the keyword static and the public is the access specifier okay and this method has two parameters both are integer type okay so in this example if you see this is the method with the two parameters the body of the method if we observe just we are calculating using the two parameters we are we are summing x plus y and we are returning the value that's all so we are using the parameters and calculating and returning the value we are not storing this parameter values to any variables okay so in such cases like as we discuss okay static class can be a container of various sets of methods where it can, whatever the parameters can be used just to calculate okay so in such cases we can use a static class so like this even we can have multiple members inside this static class by just operating on the whatever the uh, input parameters or whatever the static fields so this is the example okay so how we can call this member of this static class so my math static class calculate sum is the member of this static class so to access this member calculate sum as we discussed directly class name dot member so here is a method so that class name dot calculate sum method and as it expects two parameters of integer type you need to pass the two arguments to that method it's same way the way how we understood for a non static classes same way even for a static class the only difference we need to use the keyword static and as the static it cannot instantiate so that you cannot have the instance variables so that even you cannot assign the any values to the instance variables okay so similar way even in our dot net library also built in library also wherever such kind of various methods where just parameters will be used and calculated and just returning without storing anything such kind of things example math one of the static class it is available in a built in library so even in that also in that math class also various members all static members will be there okay so this is the static 
class members and how we can use the static class members okay so the next one is non static classes and static members so as we discussed static class will have all static members when it comes to non static classes okay so non static classes can have static members also okay so that is the uh, situation when a non static class can have a static members so if you see what are the static members what uh, features will be having when you declare a static members in a non static class so a non static class can contain static members like methods fields properties events like this all these can have the non static class as a static members so the static member is always accessible by the class name not the instance name as a static member defining in a non static class we know non static classes can be instantiated nothing but can create object for non static classes but when non static class contains any of the static members then you cannot use that static members using the instance of that object okay even though you created instance of the object but when you are accessing the static members you need to use the class name dot that static members whereas the non static members then you can use for that non static class object so like this as in the non static class we use declaring as a static members so this is the situation you need to like a where you need to use a in object variable and where you need to use a class name that you need to understand and also one more important thing is only one copy of a static member exists regardless of how many instances of the classes are created okay so this is the most important because the static member when you have a static member in non static class so if you create object okay number of objects you can create but the member whatever it has in a static classes that will be having only one copy for all the objects whatever the objects you created how many objects you created for all the objects there will be only one copy of static members will be exist so that is the most important so when the the static members in a non static classes we can use if you see there are the two common uses of the static fields in a non static classes so one is the static fields are to keep a count of the number of objects that have been instantiated so when you create object if you want to keep a counter like how many objects created for the same class if you want to have a counter you can have a static field so that why because the static field will be only one copy exist irrespective of the objects created so that that count when you maintaining a count so you can get the count across all the objects the same value what is the current count so that is the one advantage where you can use the static members in a non static class and also the other one to store a value that must be shared among all instances so suppose if you want to store some value and that value required to be shared among all instances how many instances you created for non static class if the value if you want to share whatever the value is stored in any non stat uh, any static field okay that value you can share across all the instance objects okay so that is the another advantage okay so i will write simple sample program i will open the visual studio so what i will do i will add 
one separate class file okay and i will name it the class file name i will name it to my math so once we added the my math class file name so automatically it's created a one class with my math the name same as a file name it's created one default class so i want to make this as a static so i am just added the static keyword and then i will just add few methods in this static class so one method is to calculate the sum of the two values so So here, just I am adding the two parameter values x plus y, and the result I will just return. Similar way, the one more method to convert the pounds to kgs. Okay, so I just copied. So the type I will take as a double, and then. the parameter also only one parameter double parameter name p pound okay here okay so the method name convert pound to kg So I have given the name like convert pound to kg. So to convert pound to kg, so the formula is the whatever the pound value, okay, divided by the constant value two point two zero four six. So this convert the pounds to kg, and the value will be written. So these are the two simple methods. i have added in this static class okay so even i will just check the constructor okay so we know that static class cannot have instance constructor so we will just check so the access modifier and the class name okay so this is the constructor okay whatever we define okay so if you see when we do a instance constructor what happened it's showing the error so what it states static classes cannot have instance constructors okay so suppose if we want to make a static constructor so how we can do so in front of the constructor name okay we need to use a keyword static and this access modifier okay for a static constructors it don't allow any access modifiers so that is what the the error if you look at access modifiers are not allowed on static constructors so we should not use any access modifiers just like uh, the class name for a constructor and then the static keyword if you use that's all okay here you can any of the static fields if you define for this class you can use this static constructor to initialize the values of that static fields okay so for our example uh, i am not using any uh, variables in the static variables so that okay i am removing this constructor 
but just for your understanding how you can add a static constructor i just explained how the constructors can be added okay now we will see a simple to check this static class so in a program class i am going to just write the a simple statements to use that methods so console write line and then so first to calculate the sum what i will do so example 20 plus 30 equal to whatever the value we are going to get from the method okay so here i can just call the method of the static class so directly the static class name my math dot calculate sum and then two arguments 20 comma 30 okay so this way we can use the method of the this particular static class similar way one more statement console right line and then converting lbs to cages example if i take 122 lbs and if converted to cages okay so here placeholder and then cages okay and then here the value to get the value i can use the method whatever we defined in a static class so directly static class name dot convert pound to kg so and argument i can pass that 122 lps okay also when we convert pound to kgs so there will be a decimal values so to format the number to display two decimals I can use a format string as dot zero zero. Okay. So now I will execute to see the result. See, now we can see the result. The first display 20 plus 30 equal to the 50, whatever the value is calculated 20 plus 30. And the second statement, the 122 LBs equal to the converted value whatever we get it 55.34 so this is the result okay so now we will write one more example to understand non-static class and static members okay so what i will do we have already created earlier practice.cs file okay so i will open this so here we already defined earlier one class practice okay so now in the same file practice.cs file okay already class practice is there i can add one more class so we know that in a one class file we can have a multiple classes okay so i will just take as a example class sample one Okay, so in this class, what I will do, I will use two fields, one for a non-static and one for a static. Okay, so example, so I am declaring as a private integer data type, the non-static field total sample one objects. So this is the one non-static field okay and one more static field i'm going to use as a public and then static as a static field we need to use a static keyword in front of the data type so the data type same int i will take and the field name stat total sample one objects so like that i just taken two 
fields okay and as this static field i just put as a public so that we can get the access and this as a private so just to get the access i will write a one public method so we can write a property also just uh, my example i am just writing as a method so public the return type int and then get total sample one objects so i will just take a one method and then in this method i will just return the whatever the private field total sample one objects okay so now here i will just take instance constructor public so in this instance constructor what i what i will do i will just increment the these two fields total sample one objects as well as stat total sample one objects okay so now i will save this okay so i will come to the program so just i will just use this class non static class and then we will try to access the static and non static members okay so first as it is a non static class we need to create a object to access the non static fields and to access the static fields no need to create the object so sample 1 yes 1 equal to new sample 1 and then i will just write the value on the screen so console dot write line total sample one objects equal to the value whatever the value i will just write on the screen and then i will use a tab space and then the static variable value stat total sample one objects equal to placeholder one okay and then the arguments to pass okay as the length is more even while passing the arguments after the comma i can use the new line so here i can pass the for a to get the total sample one objects what i will do i will use the method s1 dot that method whatever we define get total sample one objects okay so i am using this method and then for a second argument comma and i can give one more enter so here i want to use the static field value so for that as it is a static field i cannot use the object variable i need to use directly the class name so that sample one dot okay so this variable whatever as i created as a public so that i can get the access so, semicolon so this way uh, an object i created i have written on the screen the values i will do one more object so i will just repeat all these statements okay so i will just make it as a object name s2 and then here i will use the object name s2 here same sample one only because this is the static field so now if i execute this and if we observe the values okay so i will save this and then i will execute 
say now you can observe the result see here for the first statement total sample one objects equal to 1 and here the static total sample one objects equal to 1 so initially for this object both the values are 1 then for the second statement second statement is for the this second object okay so here what is showing total sample one objects equal to 1 but whereas it comes to a static field the total sample one objects equal to 2 it's showing 2 here it's showing 1 but here it's showing 2 why it is showing here 2 whereas here is still showing only 1 the reason if you see this is the non static field whereas this is the static field so as it is a non static field what it does for every object there is a copy when it is coming to a static field what happening static field will be only one copy for all the objects so that whatever the value okay here we are incrementing what happening this non static field for every object it is taking as a new copy so that initially it will be as we just declared we didn't assign any value so that initially it will be a zero default so that it incrementing to one whereas this static field okay for all the objects it, there will be a only one copy exists so that initially for a first object it is a zero so that it is incremented so that it is showing one here when it comes to a second object the same copy will be there so that when it incremented the previous value is 1 so that now this became 2 so this is the difference for the non static field and static field so this way if you see this is nothing but the one of the uses i told like to maintain a counter so see first object count one second object count two so like that so if we make a one more like example uh, i will just use same variable only to creating a one more time the object okay as we already declared so i am just reassigning and then i am executing the same statement so now what happens if we observe so automatically we can see so i am going to execute this see now if we observe the result see now for the third line here again the same one only when it comes to here the value is 3 so like that the static field will be sharing across all the objects so, okay we even we can see the one more check so what i will do i will reassign the value now okay and then i will see so here 1 2 3 now suppose we got here 1 and here 2 here we got 3 example here after creating this object here we assigned so now in this case what i will do if i change the value like sample 1 dot the stat total sample 1 objects equal to suppose if i change the value to 10 so now if i change the value to 10 and then here we displaying the value and also what i will do even i will display the this value once again now here okay same s1 value once again i am displaying what happens we will observe because here i am reassigning the value to a different term so now what happens so i will execute we will see the result see now if you see the result you can understand say again here the value is same one when it comes to here see the third statement what we have done 
initially the one value is there then two value is there so here we reassign to the 10 so that in the third line it showed the value 10 whereas here what we did once again we have written the same the object whatever we created here the same statement we have just written on the screen now you can observe this value is 1 it's a same and here if you see earlier it showed 1 but now it's showing 10 so it means so the whatever the static value static field value it's sharing across all the objects so that is the reason the same value 10 we are getting even for the object 1 so this is the example to understand how the static fields will be behaving in the non static classes thank you for watching please like share subscribe to our channel for more videos